ask someone how electricity powers their refrigerator or TV, and you might get a blank stare. Admittedly, electricity is one of those invisible, magical things that impact our everyday lives, yet we may not understand it very well. The same goes for how electricity is delivered to our homes, schools, hospitals, and businesses. You may have heard about or seen high-voltage transmission lines, but exactly how do they work, and what role do they play in getting power to your fridge? Quite simply, transmission lines carry electricity from where it's made to where it's used. The challenge with that simplicity is that unlike water, electricity cannot be stored in a container. Instead, electricity must be made, moved, and delivered at the moment it's needed. In the early days of electrification, power plants were small and only generated electricity for the immediate area. But as demand for electricity increased, utilities built larger, more efficient power plants and developed transmission lines to carry electricity over longer distances. To increase efficiency and reliability, utilities connected their network with neighboring electric systems. These interconnected systems form a larger network that allows power to flow from one region to another, improving reliability, reducing emissions, and lowering energy costs. So here's how it works. First, electricity is generated by utilities and other energy producers at various types of power plants, such as coal, natural gas, or wind. This electricity is transformed or stepped up to higher voltages at substations before it enters a network of high voltage transmission lines. This transmission network, often called a grid, enables a large amount of power to travel over long distances. The grid is operated from system control centers that look something like NASA control centers. Operators monitor the flow of electricity over tens of thousands of miles of transmission lines every second of every minute of every day. When transmission lines reach communities, electricity from the transmission grid is reduced to lower voltages at substations. Then finally, your local electric company distributes the power to homes and businesses through a network of lower voltage wires in your neighborhood. So next time you open your fridge, you might find yourself thinking less about what you're going to eat and more about how electricity is getting from a power plant onto the transmission grid and eventually to the poles and wires in your neighborhood that connect to your home.